everybody. It's Aquila, and this is the Lefty Knitter Podcast, episode 124. Today is Monday, July 12th, 2021. I have already been contacted by some of the winners from the last episode, so that is very exciting, and congratulations to them again. And always keep an eye out on this channel, because you never know when there might be a giveaway. So, there you go. Alright, my name's Aquila. I live in Baltimore. Husband, kids, cats, cat hair, you probably can't see it, but it's all over my shirt. Luna Tuna, I call her Luna, Luna Tuna Baluna, I don't know, that's, we just, we have nicknames. Uh, yeah, she lays in my lap while I work a lot. I try to put something on me because you never know when I might have to leave, I like at lunch or whatever, run an errand. Covered in cat hair. All right, I record through the week. This is a podcast about knitting, crafty things, etc., whatever is going on in our lives. And I record small clips and smoosh them together, post them on Saturdays. If you saw the last episode, I was talking about spinning. I don't think I mentioned what I have. I have a shacked sidekick. Her name is Ethel because she's the sidekick to Lucy. If you know, I love Lucy. So she's Ethel. Um, yeah, I was like, when I got her, well, I didn't know it was a her. Now, now it's a her. She's very temperamental too, let me just say. Uh, I was like, I need a sidekick name. There's Batman and Robin, you know, like, there's tons of sidekicks. Well, I decided on Ethel. So, Ethel it is. Um, so, yes. I ended up picking the Northbound Knitting Yarn, which I'll insert pictures here of what it looked like in the fiber stage because you might be new to this channel. Welcome to the crazy. Not crazy. Welcome to the unorganized. Not always unorganized. I'm kind of organized sometimes. I just don't know what I'm going to be talking about when I get on here sometimes. So welcome to my returning viewers also. I appreciate you. Fiber. I chose this over the other one. This was older in my stash and I decided I needed to use it. And I actually spun these singles. I ended up splitting it completely in half. I should have weighed it after I split it to make sure, make sure it was close to the same ounces. I didn't. I should have, but I didn't. <sighs> I've been spun in so long, I am quite nervous about one of these singles being way longer than the other because you know after I spun the first single I felt a little more comfortable I felt like I was getting better and I feel like my second one is gonna be much more consistent and probably have more yardage so it is what it is if I have extra left over I'll just end up two plying it onto itself somehow it'll be fine Although if I feel like I'm going way too far into another color on one of the singles, I might, I might backpedal a little and break it and try to catch up with the same color. I don't know yet. I probably won't because <laughs> I just go like with the flow and I don't think much about the whole like fiber management. I'm not quite there yet in my spinning career? I don't, I, I don't know what to call it. In my spinning journey. There we go. I know, just show the singles. Just show the singles. Jeez. I didn't need to spin this first single on this bobbin. So I do have a jumbo flyer on my wheel and I got the bigger bobbins and now I can't think of who makes them and you guys are all going to be screaming at me because there's a company that makes the 3D bobbins. This one is a lime green in lotus shape. I love this. All right, here is my singles. So you won't be able to see all the colors in there, but I promise you they're in there and you definitely can't see them from the side because I didn't have enough fiber for it to like build up. But I do have another one of these type of bobbins. Acreworks, there you go, came to my brain. I have another one that's orange, so I'm probably gonna ply onto that one and it'll be more yardage once I ply onto it, hopefully. Maybe. 
No, it won't because I'm single. It'll be thicker. So it might actually come out into the pattern and you'll be able to see it. The other bobbin I used was the bobbin that came with my wheel. And there you go. You can kind of see some of the blue down here. It ended in this chartreuse gray color. I ate peanut M&Ms and I'm apologize. I am like trying to get peanuts out of my teeth with my tongue and I shouldn't be doing that. I should have like went and rinsed my mouth like a proper podcaster. I don't know. <laughs> Make sure the people don't do that. Hey bud. Bud's meowing. There you go. And he's with me now. A bubby. Are you going to do it today? <laughs> My old man kitty. He's so little. You want to do it again? Come on. Scratches? No? Okay. Then I'm not going to keep trying to get you to do it. All right. So there you go. I've been spinning. Uh, these have now rested because I finished this one yesterday. And they've now rested for 24 hours. So I might ply this tonight. Which means I could do a short clip of what it looks like pre-washed and whacked. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Alright y'all, until the next clip, I don't know what I'll be getting into. I might be ripping something out. Because I found another pattern that I really want to make now. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I never know what I'm doing. Okay. Bye. Hey folks. So it is Tuesday, July 13th. I am feeling quite drained today. Ugh. It's lunchtime and I forgot I had a meeting at 2. And so I'm going to take 15 minutes and <laughs> log back in and then log back out my lunch. Ugh. I finished plying that yarn that I was spinning. Put this down here. Yes, I'm in a sweatshirt. It's cold in my basement with the air conditioning on. First world problems. It's really terrible. All right. Here is the other bobbin, the Acreworks bobbin I was telling you guys about. You still can't see like the color through it because it's not enough on there. I don't know how much I'm going to have, but I two plied it and I was worried about having one of my singles being a lot more yardage than the other. It was probably like three yards difference. So pat on the back. I did okay. There you go. Um, I have my... I'm not going to be able to think of words today. Just scream it at the screen what this is called because I, I can't think. This is, I think, uh, this is a shacked. It's the same as my wheel. Nitty Naughty, that's the name of it. Y'all were yelling it. I heard it. Sounds ridiculous. I can never remember. Like, I can keep it down here and it'll be whatever this length is or I can put it to this size. So I'm going to just put it to the bigger size. I can never remember how long my Nitty Naughty is because I'm ridiculous. And if you've never used a Nitty Naughty, um, you have to wrap it a certain way. And not everybody has because not everybody is fun. People are new to the craft, whatever. So let's make a lot of noise with my tape measure here. What you do is, <clears throat> it's gonna be hard to show. So, so I, so I know how many yards this is because I can never remember. I'm gonna wrap it like I would wrap yarn around it and measure. Oh, it's not gonna measure. Great. So it's about at 60 and let's add eight. So 68 inches. So what is that? Alexa, what is 68 inches in yards? 68 inches is about two yards. Two yards. So I'm pretty sure it's a two yard nitty knotty. There you go. I'm going to wrap this up on my nitty knotty. And yeah, 
then I'll know approximately. I thought it was a one and a half, maybe when it's short. I might remeasure this off screen, but I'm gonna wrap it up. And uh, yeah, so I have to put my bobbin either back like into a box or something so it doesn't fly all over the floor, back onto my wheel, or I have my lazy Kate here. I'll probably put it on this so I can wind it. And I'll probably do a little video footage of it because why not? Right? Why not? Yeah, so there it is. It's a little lumpy and bumpy in places, but I knew that was going to be the case because I hadn't spun in, in, in a while. And that's okay. So let's get this started. my <laughs> it fell off the table sorry so if I counted right I have 77 wraps and if it is two yards I have what did I say 144 is that right Alexa what's 77 times two 77 times 2 is 154. 154. <laughs> I can't count. 154 yards, which isn't much, but it could be color work in something. Screenshot. Might be the new one. All right, so not too shabby, if you ask me. Now I'm going to take a picture so I can put it on Instagram because it's pretty. <laughs> all right, so there we go. And I told you I was gonna keep all the colors together and it did. It looks really cool. I really, really like it. So maybe color work in a sweater. I gotta figure out what weight this is and then get matching weight yarn for the body of the sweater, because that would be fun. Yeah. Hey everybody, it is now Wednesday. I've never worn like a scarfy thing. So, excuse this. I just don't know if it's right or looks good. It feels weird because I'm not used to it, you know? Like when you dye your hair a different color and you look in the mirror and you're like, whoo, who's that person? That's kind of how I feel. All right, this is done. So this was correct in the wraps that I talked about. It is uh, 154 wrap uh, 154 yards so it's not a lot so technically I guess it's considered like you know bulky I just think that's weird I don't have a coin to show you like or something in relevance of size to be like hey here's kind of the the width that it is I could show you with a nail file or something does that work yeah I'll stick a nail file under a couple of the pieces and you can kind of see the width. Does that help at all? Probably not because it's not relevant. Like how nail files are I guess kind of common sizes but whatever. Okay I'm just rambling at this point. So I posted on my Instagram stories. All right so one last time. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I posted on my Instagram stories a picture of something I was making. So I am using my Addy 22 needle. I had seen this in one of the Facebook machine tinkerers groups where you, all the people that make all the stuff with all the different um, knitting machines. Not so much like the big sock machines, but like the, the, pl the plastic ones, the Addies, the Genomes, those. So I decided I needed to give this a go because Hazel is like, 
Okay, so she's five. She's obsessed with, like, that video was satisfying. Like, slime, poppets, fidget toys. Like, yeah. So, I saw this and I was like, oh, isn't that a different idea? Now, I have seen Leslie from Not Quite Enough Yarn make what is called a... Oh, goodness. Now I'm not going to think of the word. Uh, for people with Alzheimer's and dementia. And it's a... It's like a muff that goes on their hands. And they can play... It has different stuff. Texture, lap, texture, buttons, whatever. It was in my head this morning, the name of this thing. It's pretty much like a fidget toy. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, I have a machine to do this. So I've been, <laughs> I posted on Instagram stories and people have been guessing what I'm trying to make. Now I'm not done yet because I need, I needed marbles. I wanted marbles because I wanted the weight of a marble, but this, what I have might have to do. Both of my dollar stores, the Dollar Tree and the Dollar General didn't have marbles. I really thought I was going to like find them there, but alas, no marbles. And we have no marbles. That's one thing I've never played with Hazel. And now I'm like, I need to get marbles. So that's a whole nother story. I cranked. Five tubes. I Here's a picture of the, the woman that I saw. Right? So here's the picture. I'll link her video down below because she has a tutorial. I think she said uh, she speaks Dutch. So she has two videos. One is in English and one is in her na more native language. Um, but I could understand everything she was saying, so it wasn't a problem. In hers, she did four. I asked Hayes if she wanted more, and she said sure, and she wasn't really sure. I don't think she still understands what I'm making. So I have now closed one end of all five tubes. These are 50 rows on my 22 needle. I've closed them. I've mattress seamed them. These are all going to come off. This is all waste yarn. And what she did is made, she sewed in like mazes. And you put the marbles in before you close this. So what I found at the dollar store were these giant pearl beads. And they work. Let me, I can put one in and you can kind of see. So when you're sewing up the maze, you, you don't have a lot of room, right? You're not stretching it to sew it. So I put the marble in, or the bead, and it's right here. So it has to be able to go down and around. I'll maybe pick up the camera and show you a video uh, of it. So I think these will work. They, they move around in there easily enough. I just hope that like Hazel doesn't decide she's gonna just squish it out one of the holes that I didn't sew up tight enough. I mean, I think they're all okay. This is pretty big, but I would think I want the marbles. I think I want the weight of a marble. <sighs> but I wanted to finish this today for when she got home. So I guess I can always make another one. This was just all scraps that I had of acrylic yarn that I used to make like donation hats and stuff. So yeah, so I'm gonna probably put those in, sew up the other ends at lunch and then start working on the mazes. But I'll show you a video real quick of one of the marbles in there. All right, so probably not the best video, but there you can see there's the, the bead. So in some of them, you sew straight down the center, and then it, you have a maze that goes all the way around. Some of them you do a line in, a line in, and a line in, so then the bead will go like this. So you can do all different different styles, but with the bead being, I mean, it's that big, I feel like once I sew up the center, it's kind of perfect size. So, And the thing is, you just fidget and move it around your maze. I know, I don't quite understand all the fidget toys but there's a reason for them a muff what is that called that's still gonna bother me leslie tell me what it is i know you watch you'll let me know thank you all right there we go so there's my bag i'm gonna only put one in each i think maybe two i don't know It'd be kind of fun so there there's what it is i remembered it's a twiddle muff a twiddle muff 
Now the lady that did this video also had a video on making a muff that you make longer tubes and you connect them and it makes one big giant muff and you can connect five or six tubes together and you can put stuff inside those tubes too. There you go. Today is Thursday and I think it's the 15th of June, July. <laughs> All right, real life chat, y'all. Let's have a real life chat because this is a real life podcast. I did a commission not long ago and I was not happy doing it. So I've decided I'm not doing commissions. Not really, right? So, okay. This isn't about a commission, though. I saw this idea of making this object online for Hayes, thinking she would love it, right? John already was like, you're setting yourself up for failure. Setting yourself up for failure. Well, I finished it. And it has the beads in it. And like I had two of the sections done last night and I showed it to Hayes and she looked at it for like two seconds, probably two milliseconds and moved on. I'll show you guys another video of it like laying down so I can push the marbles around, beads, whatever. So on John's last video, she got super excited and was showing items I've made for her before. Granted, I've made her lots of stuff. I know she's young, but I don't know. I guess it kind of breaks my heart a little. Just saying, just saying. And making stuff for like family and friends, you just aren't like, I don't usually, again, there take commissions either from people. Um, I do it because I think they're going to like it and that's probably my own fault because then I think they're going to like it and then they're like, put, you know, putting on a, oh, it's great face. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that's always the case. I just think people just don't always get, I think I get myself more excited <laughs> about gifting the gift than the person getting it and I get that. Like, I understand. I just gotta stop hyping myself up. Do you guys hype up yourself? Is there like, does it get better with age with kids too? Like I know I need to make my oldest a few plant hangers and I've really not, I've just not done it cause I've had other stuff and I just need to do it because I know she's actually gonna really appreciate those. Um, I made her scrubbies when she got her new home and she really appreciated those. And she's like, do you think you could make me some more of those? Cause they're starting to get like used been over a year and she's been using them the whole time so like those kinds of things I am excited to make they're not as exciting to make but I know they're being used so I don't know I maybe it's an age thing I had made Hayes um a blanket because she asked me for her dollies and then she gave it to her school which Totally fine because it's being used there by all the other kids and all the dollies there. But I was just like, you barely, you, you asked for it. You specifically asked for it and then you gave it away. I guess maybe it's an age thing with that too. So she's, you know, gonna be six. I made her and her best friend like these little mermaids that had like removable clothes and tails and then underneath the tail was legs so they could be mermaid humans or mermaid with mermaid tails I don't even know if she knows where that is and that well, she wasn't even excited and I thought she was gonna not be so excited for the doll but be excited because her and her best friend had the same ones except the hair color was different but no no so what are some of your experiences I guess I, and everybody's personality and kids are different so some are more appreciative, just in general, not like that they're not appreciative. They just show the appreciation more like in their emotions and their actions. And they're like, thank you and give you big hugs. Finished this last night and I showed it to her this morning. And again, like a side glance at it.
It's a little sad. It's a little sad. I just really thought because it was different and none of her friends would have one like this. I thought it was going to be just different. <laughs> Let me just show you guys. I'm going to turn the camera off and show you guys uh, this thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it has the five panels, the five tubes. Um, these two are the same, except for this one has two beads and this one only has one. So you can take the... This one has a line here and then a diagonal and a line here so it can go Then this one um, has two also and it can go all around. <clears throat> this has like three racetracks. These don't move the easiest and I'm wondering if it's because they're like plastic beads and acrylic yarn and it's just plastic upon plastic. I think the, the glass marbles probably would have worked better. And then this one is just again like around the racetrack. Oop. So there you go. A fidget marble maze. That's it. Okay, today is Friday, July 16th, and we're gonna round up this video because he's gonna make a bunch of noise in the background. I'm gonna round up the video. He's gonna jump in a little bit, but we are doing a uh, fiber studio tour, yarn studio tour tomorrow. It's open, I think a lot of them are open 10 to five or 10 to 4, I'm not exactly sure, but we'll tell you about all those in just a moment. I have made progress on that sock. I don't think I've shown this at all in this episode, but it's Pretty Twisted Yarns. I have the first one all but the heel done. Ba -doo! And I was here the last time you saw it. And I'm at like 160, I do 170 before I decrease for my toe, so another cat. Uh, yeah, I'm really close to decreasing for the toe, so that's exciting. I'm going to move my little progress keeper right now so I can show you, hopefully in the next episode, a finished Saccharoni. Pair of Saccharonis. Oh my god, if you heard, if, if you heard, if you heard him belching in the background. Kudos to that. <laughs> Who was, oh, Hazel? <laughs> in John's last episode, Hayes kept coming in to talk and she was eating spaghetti that night. She had spaghetti all over her face. I don't know why John's being a, aggressively blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Whatever. He's getting a shirt on so he can come on here. Yes, you're wearing a shirt. It's bad enough. You're going to wear what you're going to wear, what we talk about in just a few moments. I purchased, my mom and I were talking about my ornaments. And of course, I made one and she stole it. So I didn't even get to show you guys. But it was the same white and silver crochet thread excuse me, with the tucked stitches. My mom and I were talking about how feasibly I could make these for the shop. My goodness, I am drinking bubbly ginger ale and it's got me all messed up. <clears throat> so I went online and I went to Etsy shop called Rowan Originals. They sent me this cute little flower. It's a needle threader and a, look at that paper clip. That's super cute. Okay. That's a needle threader. Thread. Is that what you call it? It has the little wire. Can you see the wire? Probably not. I'd have to take it out. Can you see it? 
or like threading your needle, right? Usually you get like really cheesy ones and it looks like a coin and they're like silver and metal. Oh my God. You're, I'm not ready for you yet. <laughs> I'm not ready for this yet. Rowan Originals, there you go. I bought some thread. Stop. Can't take him anywhere. Bought two colors. This is the second color I bought. I don't even know. I don't even think I can show you the actual, the actual label. It's called Yarn Art, and it's Camellia, and it's a polyester metallic. Can you see that at all? Yarn Art. It's yarn, it says yarn art. Okay. Now this is much thinner than that crochet thread. And I knew it was going to be when I ordered it. Because I found this and then I did some Ravelry searching for the thread that I own already. And this thread. And you get like double the yardage for the, um, the same weight. So... I knew it was gonna be thinner, and it is, it's much thinner. But the other one I got was a red. I think I did too many rounds. I don't know my, I didn't know the round count because this was a new thread. That's very hard to see because it is very lacy. In person though, let me see if I can hold something up behind it. This is my Etsy order. <laughs> So I still think I did I did one too many rounds on this and I'm not sure if I messed up. It is very fiddly because it's so thin and I could probably pull it a little bit tighter. Now this of course will probably be just a gift for somebody I already know. Um, so it worked in my machine though. So that's exciting. I'm going to keep playing with my little prototypes. And I'm thinking if I do sell them, I'm going to sell them in sets of three. Or singles. Like singles or sets of three. I don't know. But they're pretty. All right. Let me now go find John. He was wearing his wedding vest and a tie. I just don't understand. I don't understand at all. So, all right. So that is not a shirt. She told me I had to put on a shirt. It's not a shirt. I know, it's sophisticated. Please don't chew ice, please. It's sophisticated. Pet peeve? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Chewing ice. Ugh. Drives me insane. Insane. Why am I here? All right. We're here because you wanted a damn a pair of crochet granny square pants. I do. I do. Well, I'll insert a picture here of what your what has led you to this. And I then, want a pair of granny square britches. And so Andy the Knitress was like, ask the community to help join in on the fun and get you a pair of britches. And then I was like uh, that sounds awesome, but I don't want to come off seeming like a beggar. Or like, needy. Please, some granny squares. Please. <laughs> please, sir, can I have some more? <laughs> please, sir, can I have some granny squares? <laughs> um, but so far... The community is excited. <laughs> is, and it's, I, it, dude, dude. <laughs> They're so, going to be very bright. So people were like, what yarn weight? What hook size? What dimensions? Blah, blah, blah. Where do I send them? And John's like, holy cow, halt, brakes, step on the brakes. And so I dug out yarn. I dug out a hook. Now I used, this is Red Heart yarn, size four, worsted weight-ish. Um, we're asking for... Four rounds of granny squares. You can use whatever color. 
approximately five inches wide, tall, five inches by five inches. So I, I made up a mock-up so I could show people what, you know, he was looking for. And then we are probably going to wait till we get some squares in and then pick a color After and join them all. After seeing all the colors, I think we had, I think you might have been right. We might have to go with like a gray or black because nothing is going to. Nothing's going to bring them all together. Like you're not, like you were like baby blue. And I was like, oh that would God. Be red. But that okay. Would be pretty red. Pants with baby blue yarn mm -hmm. that are going to possibly be bell bottoms, possibly touching the ground and you're sitting your butt in them on like benches and chairs they're gonna get dirty fast no because there's a breeze that'll go through and no the dust <laughs> and knock the dust off yes no mm -mm, that's yes. not gonna happen you better wear underwear maybe maybe not <laughs> see my only fans for more exclusive uh, so thank you to everyone who has already like Thank you. People are sending them last night, and we made the post like later last in night. the after, like <laughs> yeah. late, close to Hayes' bedtime. Yeah, we made it, and so yeah. But we also want to talk about we are doing the studio yarn, studio yarn crawly type thing. It's a tour, a studio tour. There we go, words. So we're going. It's four different places. I'm pretty sure I can remember them all. Let me test my memory. Four places, more out Western Maryland. And so if there's anybody that's seeing this, I'm trying to record now so I can post first thing in the AMs. So you might want to come out. Um, one, Avalon Spring Farms. Two, Dancing Leaf Farms. Three, something goat, Flying Goat Hi. Farms. And four, Kathy Withers. There you go. And I'm pretty sure most of these places are having like sit and knits. And I know Avalon Springs is having like sit and spin. So bring your wheel and you can spin. Because they're having at their event, uh, you can card some of your own fiber on a drum carter to buy. And I might have to do that because that would be cool. What? You look confused. I didn't know about the sit and spins and the sit and nets and what what is Hazel and I gonna do while you're doing all that? You're gonna just entertain yourselves with the animals and the shops and the people. It's record store day. Okay. And we're gonna be out by Frederick. Well, you can go to the record store. I'll just drop you off. I don't want to sit at one of the places for long times. Is there any of that? Thanks, babe. I'm just gonna pack up my wheel and Uber to in the next place. <laughs> That'd be awesome. But so we're gonna be doing that. I'm gonna hopefully edit this all tonight and have it That's set for a timed thing. So I it'll post at like six AM so maybe people will see it. I don't know. That'd be cool. Why would meet some people's post it tonight for the people that are raging all night. Raging all night watching your YouTube. Podcast. Sure, I can Three, try. Wine o'clock. Wine o'clock. <laughs> like how how great of a night do you consider drinking wine and watching on podcast? I mean, people do it all the time. They do it all. The time. They do it all the time. So there you go. That is what we have to tell you guys. And just thank you very much always to everybody who is um, responding and commenting. And I think I have one more abroad viewer who needs to contact us for a pattern for the giveaway so did go back get, and watch 123 did we get the box out yet did you get the box out yet you better learn how to wrap some pretty yarns and some tissue paper all right you ready to go play chip and nails <laughs> oh my god i'm more like chris farley Fat guy in a little coat. That's totally different. <laughs> but he does the Chippendales thing. That's what you do. I know, but he does the Chippendales thing on SNL. Yeah, I'm not doing that. All he right. doesn't. He doesn't do it anymore. Spoiler well, no, alert. he Spoiler. he does it in the afterlife, wherever he's at. That's mighty. I miss him. Bold of you to assume. He's in some sort of afterlife. But what if? But you think he's specifically doing that? Now, Maybe. So. Okay. He's a butterfly in our garden. 
He would be doing this a lot. <laughs> That's terrible. We are so terrible. All right. So reincarnation is a thing in your head, huh? Uh, yeah. Chris Farley, Chippendale, Buzzfly, reincarnation. I've... That's not exactly the path I was going. I was just, never mind. I don't know. If you could anymore. be reincarnated into anything, what would it be? One of our cats. <laughs> Our cats have good lives. Hell yeah, eat, puke, fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the way to go, man. That's the way to go. I don't know what else I would want to be, because I wouldn't want to be like a poor bunny rabbit that gets hit by a car, or a lion that's endangered and killed in the Serengeti. Why are all the things bad that you could possibly be reincarnated into? Okay, what, what would you be reincarnated as? That's a simple, an anal bead. <laughs> That's not even a... You want to be an inanimate object? You don't want to be no. something living? No. Okay, that was be... the dumbest answer ever. Um... Sorry. A... I don't know, a bird, maybe? What Is kind of bird? Because there's know. so many. Uh, I don't know. You want to be like a house bird, like somebody's pet? No, I want to be able to spread my wings and fly. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. And be able to be like, Caw -caw! oh my god, you <laughs> just scared the crap out of that all of be... our cats. Me, I was like, <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Or maybe like, I don't want to be like a giraffe. Oh man, people that were listening, with headphones. How about a skeeter? Oh, so you can. He smashed and. I'm about a cicada. And come, but you live for like a day, and then you populate your kids, and then you leave. It's not a day; it's like two weeks. They're alive underground. <laughs> what would you be? If what would you be? You could be reincarnated. I already called dibs on Anal Bead. Can't take oh it. Oh my god! All right, we're done. Yeah. Chris Farley out.